Good morning, beautiful people. Dominique here with another quick video. And today I will be showing you how to replace a brake light switch on a 2009 Hyundai Elantra. Tools needed, 14 millimeter wrench. Uh, here's my brake pedal. And when you go all the way up, this is the brake switch right here. And when you press down on the pedal, you can set that it goes in and out. And sometimes that's what causes your brake lights to stay on. Other than that, switch the brake switch can just be bad. It's real simple to replace. Let's get to it. And I'll be using a 14 millimeter wrench to remove this brake switch. Have to remove the second nut. Just just slide on down, and then you just unplug the wire harness. Just press your finger down on this right here, and it should come right apart. And it disconnected easily. So let's go get the other part of match. All right. So take this nut off the end, because most likely your new switch won't come with one. It only come with one nut. Get your new one. Plug it up into the wire harness. Press down until you hear a clip. This aftermarket came a lot smaller than the original one. That's what I noticed. But they said it, it's still working just smaller. But we'll see. We'll find out. So you take your, um, your old nut, put it on the edge of this, and don't tighten it up. Just put it on there good enough. To press down on my brake pedal first to be able to get it in a little slot. And then... I'm just gonna tighten up both nuts with a 14 millimeter wrench. And I wish I could record and work at the same time, but that's impossible for me right now. All right, so I just had to line it up, push it up there with my fingers, and then just tight hand tighten each side the best way I can. And then I'm gonna go over with a 14 millimeter wrench. Now that I got a hand tightened, time to tighten it up even more. That's pretty tight. Let me make sure this back one is tightened. And as you can see, it's installed. Easy as one, two, three. And this should go all the way out when you press down on the brake pedal. Now I'm gonna connect my battery and see if the brake lights stay out now, which I'm pretty sure it will. But and now my car is started, brake light is out. Yeah, so that's what it work. Yeah, so like I said earlier in the video, the, the new brake switch that I got was much smaller. And I was worried about it not working because the original one was big. But the plug still matched. It plugged in everything. It was just smaller. And the car is working fine, stopping fine. The brake lights out. No problems. No problems. 